Hi guys, it is an absolutely spectacularly gorgeous, over the top, beautiful day here in what's left of the paradise outside of Inverness, Florida on this gorgeous January day. We are in the middle of January. We are halfway through January. That would be Wednesday, January 15th, 2020, where we're heading, I think, once again to about 85 degrees here today on this gorgeous day in the collapse of global industrial civilization. And the little dog and I, we need to head back to the Citrus County office building. You know, just going about our business here at age 60. I'm just, you know, pretending like it's just another beautiful day on the planet. Out shopping for real estate. You know, to buy some waterfront real estate in the year 2020. So I can spend my golden years uh, my golden years. I, I love that. Where did they come up? My rust years. My rusted out failing years as my uh, health and everything else continues to collapse. Y you know, I'm just going on about my business like it's just a normal beautiful day here on the planet. Let me look around. Uh, so anyway, before I head out and do that, <clears throat> Just want to stop right here on the mainstream media, right here today uh, on the mainstream media from good old Yahoo News. Yahoo News, uh, several versions of the story. We're going to go on with the version that one of our alert readers sent me as well from good old CNN, you know, what Donald Trump would say is the fake news network. Uh, and it is a good thing that the CNN is the fake news network. Uh, well, it is, but not for reasons uh, Trump tards might believe. So anyway, this is CNN News, the most mainstream of mainstream media on the planet, uh, bringing us the latest dire report, the latest worse than ever uh, and faster and worse than previously thought, dire report from those uh, saviors of the planet at the United Nations. And the United, what does the United Nations, what is on their minds at the opening bell of the 2020s? Take it away, United Nations and warn the planet, UN warns the planet that we, we, I guess, uh, anyone living on the planet, we have 10 years to save Earth's biodiversity as mass extinction caused by humans takes hold. Yes, I had to check this to make sure they were talking. I, I, I thought that this was some throwback. It wasn't the United Nations, I think it was 1989, the United Nations or somebody uh, was saying we have 10 years to save the planet and that was 31 years ago. Uh, so maybe if this headline had been written 31 years ago, it would not be so unintentionally hilarious. Uh, I have some bad news for the United Nations, CNN News, and the planet. We do not have 10 years to save Earth's biodiversity from the sixth mass extinction. Anyway, uh, I love this. Uh, so, <clears throat> you know, I, I bank at Bank of America. So I actually went on and, and filled out a survey uh, that Bank of America sent me. You know, I went online, I did one of these online surveys about my experience at Bank of America, and now. That was last night, and this morning 
when I open up CNN, I have Bank of America trying to sell me a credit card. But anyway, uh, let's go back to uh, CNN News. <clears throat> Take it away for anyone who does not understand this. Almost a third of the earth, almost a third of the earth will need to be protected by 2030 and pollution cut in half to save our remaining wildlife as we enter the planet's sixth era of mass extinction according to the United Nations. Hmm. This is the hilariously named UN Convention on Biological Diversity released its latest draft plan on Monday which sets global goals to combat the ongoing biodiversity crisis in the coming decades. And uh, if you have forgotten this, the convention had set similar targets 10 years ago, back in 2010 at a summit in Japan. But in the intervening 10 years, the world failed to meet most of those 2020 goals. So now we have the 2030 goals to set up like bowling pins to get knocked down. But the world has failed to meet those 2020 biodiversity goals and is now facing unprecedented extinction rates, threatened ecosystems, and severe consequences for human survival. Okay, let's hear from the United Nations plan to save the planet. Quote, Biodiversity and the benefits it provides is fundamental to human well-being and a healthy planet. Despite ongoing efforts, despite ongoing efforts, biodiversity is deteriorating worldwide and this decline is projected to continue or worsen under business as usual scenarios. What do they mean despite ongoing efforts? Uh, uh, as far as I can tell, every single effort is being uh, brought out to deteriorate the world's wildlife. Uh, yes, ongoing efforts uh, to save the planet. Uh-huh. Okay. So since it, you know, since it completely failed in the last 10 years, to uh, save the planet from the sixth mass extinction, the, the new convention aims to stabilize, uh, stabilize our fragile biodiversity by 2030. Uh-huh, there you go. And allow ecosystems to recover by 2050, allowing for a final vision of, quote, living in harmony with nature, close quote. But these goals will require urgent action on both local and global levels. Yes. Uh, to achieve this, the UN's draft plans lay out 20 targets for the next decade ranging from carbon emission reduction to food sustainability. I'm, I'm pretty sure without going back and rereading the 2010 uh, goals, my guess is that carbon uh, emissions reduction was probably one of the 20 goals. Uh, these laughable goals 
uh, of course, every year since 2010, carbon emissions have gone nowhere but up, 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 as they will continue to do every year in the 2020s. And food sustainability, well, let's come back in 2030 and see how they did on that goal. All right, let's look at some more of these targets. One target is to give protected status to sites important for biodiversity, covering at least 30% of land and sea areas by 2030, with at least 10% of the planet under, quote, strict protection. Mm -hmm. There you go. I'm sure uh, Jair Bozo Nero is uh, sending out orders to put the Amazon rainforest under strict protection. Another target is to cut pollution from biocides, excess nutrients, and do not forget plastic waste by at least 50% by 2030. Yes, we are going to cut the amount of plastic waste being generated by humanity 10 years from now by 50%. What is it by the year 2050 uh, that they're, they're projecting that four times as much plastic will be being produced on this planet than it is today. Four times as much and we're going to cut plastic waste by 50 percent in the next 10 years. Okay, what are some other targets? We have some uh, planet-eating semi coming down the street. Anyway, all right, where was I? Other 2030 targets, including ensuring, ensuring that the trade of w all wild species is both legal and sustainable. There you go. Yes, that the trade of all wild species is sustainable by the year 2030. Uh-huh. Don't forget bringing greater sustainability to economic sectors. I, I would hate to think what that looks like. Bringing greater sustainability to economic sectors and individual consumption. Yes, that every single person on the planet will be sustainable in their individual consumption. And do not forget, probably bringing up number 20 is my guess, empowering indigenous communities in their conservation efforts. Uh, I, you know, every year as I report in Manga Bay that uh, more and more indigenous land defenders are getting gunned down. The assassination rate of indigenous land defenders continues to skyrocket every year and will continue to skyrocket as the United Nations uh, seeks to empower indigenous communities in their conservation efforts. Oh yeah. Okay, some of the targets focus on the quality of human life, like providing better food security and clean water for the most vulnerable communities. And so once the most vulnerable communities on the planet 
let's be honest here, guys. We're talking sub-Saharan Africa in India, most likely. Uh, once uh, we have provided better food security and clean water for uh, sub-Saharan Africa, then, then those communities are expected to reduce <coughs> human wildlife conflict, <coughs> the draft plan said. Well, <coughs> you know, I will, I am going to predict that by the, by 2030, that we will see a reduction in human wildlife conflict because all of these animals like elephants and tigers and whatnot that humans are presently in conflict with will have been obliterated <coughs> off the planet due to the conflicts. And so, yes, when there are no wildlife on that side of the conflict zone, you are going to see a reduction in human wildlife conflict by the year 2030. Uh, I am going to predict that. Okay, uh, if you uh, if you have not run uh, screaming, and yeah, let's continue. Okay, I love this. The plan will be finalized and adopted in October at a biodiversity summit in China. <laughs> oh God. A, a UN 2020 biodiversity summit in China. A, a, am I the only person on uh, on the planet uh, with the sick, twisted humor, uh, the, the very concept of a United Nations 2020 biodiversity conference in the country of China in late 2020. Uh, that, that is so uh, hilarious on so many levels. Okay. Anyway, where were we? In case you're not aware of this, folks, Earth has entered its sixth mass extinction. The extinction crisis is far worse than you think. Mm -hmm. For years, sci for years, yeah, for years, as I was saying, you know, in our plundered planet, Back in 1948, for instance, for years, scientists have warned us that we are in the midst of, not at the beginning of, we are in the middle of a mass extinction. The sixth in our planet's history and the first one caused by humans. As I just mentioned in my prediction about uh, human wildlife conflict, elephants could be gone from the wild within one generation. Amphibian populations are collapsing today. And climate change is warming and acidifying the oceans threatening to annihilate coral reefs. And I'm going to put the link on this story, and inside this story are all of these other links uh, to, you know, when they make a point, they, they link you to these other, star, uh, other stories. And then they also have a link to a 23-minute video titled Vanishing, The Extinction Crisis is Far Worse Than You Think If You Want to Watch the CNN Video. Okay, <clears throat> in total, a million, 
I don't know where they, they come up with this number. In total, a million of the world's <clears throat> eight million species are currently facing extinction. Many within the next few decades, the UN warned last year. <clears throat> The global rate of species extinction is at least tens of hundreds of times higher than it has been on average over the past 10 million years. <clears throat> and then uh, if you want a related article, you can also go on to this article, Extinction Crisis is Threatening Global Food Supply, UN report warns. We have an associated story about what this means to the global food supply. <clears throat> okay, we, we, that would be we humans, have wrecked the world's natural ecosystems. Almost 600 plant species have been wiped out in the past 250 years an extinction rate for plants 500 times faster than it would have been without human intervention. The plant's mass extinction spell trouble for the millions of species, including humans, that depend upon plants. And bringing up the very bottom of this story, but even so, good for you, CNN and the United Nations bringing up the rear of this story, a huge part of the problem lies in population growth. Yes, I guess 100% is does qualify officially as the definition of a huge part, 100%. A huge part of the problem lies in population growth, rising demand, and depleted resources. With a growing human population, we have more mouths to feed but fewer resources than ever. Our planet's declining biodiversity threatens agriculture, placing our livestock breeds and crops at risk. But the population boom will not end anytime soon. <coughs> the draft plan released on Monday warned that the current world population of 7.6 billion people is expected to reach 8.6 billion people by 2030 and 9.8 billion people by 2050 with severe, quote, implications for the demand for resources including food, infrastructure, and land use. There you go, guys. Uh, you heard it right here on the fake news service, CNN News, here on this gorgeous day here on the planet in Inverness, Florida. And uh, now that I have finished chronicling the collapse of our planet over the next 10 years, I'm going to go back to shopping for a waterfront property in the state of Florida to hide from the collapse of global industrial civilization and a planet for the next 10 years. I cannot think of a better way, a better place to be chronicling the collapse of a planet uh, over the 2020s uh, than from a waterfront property in the state of Florida. There is no better place 
for a depressed collapsitarian to bring you the news of the collapse and I highly advise you get out and enjoy this absolutely gorgeous day on the planet while you still can. Are you ready to go enjoy this planet while you still can, little dog? Bye, guys.